Circe's mercury, it's um, a liquid metal. It's one of, um, well, one liquid metal at this temperature. There are a couple of other liquid metals a little bit more exotic places in the, in the world, like Spain or perhaps Africa. But mercury, it's chemical formula HG. The best way to remember the, the formula for mercury is like HG wells. HG, mercury, comes out of a well. Mercury is one of the few elements that is liquid at room temperature. Um, or is the only metal that is liquid in room temperature unless you live in a very hot country. It's also very dense and it has been known again since very early times. Um, mercury is very poisonous. It's a really fantastic liquid. It was really used for, for making scientific instruments like barometers and thermometers, you know, and it's really quite a beautiful metal. I really love it. When I was in school, we used to put it on the bench and play football with it, but you know, um, lots of people don't like us to do that anymore. But what I'll do is I'll just pour a little bit of the liquid metal into this beaker so we can see the properties and you can see that it's really nice, flows just like a liquid, but forms really quite nice balls and you can see the really quite high meniscus forming around the mercury. It can get into the human body, particularly in the brain, where it gives signs of madness. It used to be used in the UK for making hats. I'm not quite sure what they did with mercury to make hats, but this is where the expression mad as a hatter came from, because the people making hats breathed in mercury vapour and this caused them to show signs of madness. So here we can slosh it around a little bit, but we've got to be very careful that we don't slosh it too much because it's extremely dense and heavy and it's very, very easy to go through the middle or the bottom of the glass bottle itself. Tell me why you aren't touching it with your hands. Well, mercury is associated with toxicity, especially for the salts. So, you know, we like to try to minimise the contact with the, mer with the mercury and the, and the mercury salts as much as possible, really, just so that we can be very careful with our health and safety. There was a tragic case in Japan in the 1950s when mercury got into the sea from chemical emissions from factories and the um, organisms on the bottom of the sea turned them into the mercury metal into a compound that could be absorbed by the um, fish and particularly the shellfish and then the fishermen and the people living round this Minamata Bay started eating these things and got large amounts of mercury in their brain and the, I can't remember the number but several thousand people got very ill and many of them died. So mercury in the environment is quite a serious problem. It is also an interesting point that mercury has been used um, for making ro chlorine by putting electric current through solutions of salt and it is gradually being replaced but unlike chemicals you can't get rid of an element so if you have mercury you can't burn it or destroy it in any way and so there are problems now what to do with the mercury that people no longer want. But it's a really beautiful element, really fantastic. It's used often in electrochemistry because you can form very, very good electrical contacts with mercury. And in fact, many people that might have old telephone or old bells, you know, the doorbells that we have on our, on our front door, inside the bing bong, it's a mercury actuated switch that turns on a magnet and off a magnet very, very quickly. It's really beautiful. Mercury has an interesting property that it will very easily form alloys, which are called amalgams. My teeth, and probably many of your teeth, are filled with so-called silver amalgam, which is a mixture of mercury and silver, which, when it's freshly mixed, is like a paste, but when the dentist pushes it into your tooth, then hardens, and all being well, doesn't come out, or at least doesn't come out for a number of years. Um, but amalgams are not very strong and many years ago when I visit, worked at another u university um, mercury was being stolen from the university, from the chemistry department and nobody knew who was stealing it until one day the window cleaner was walking out of the building and the bottom fell out of the, his bucket because he had been stealing mercury by pouring it into the bottom of his pouring it his bucket and hiding it below the dirty water and the mercury started to amalgamate with the metal of the bucket it was a metal bucket and eventually 
the bucket could no longer hold the weight of the mercury and it suddenly fell out and the mercury all came off.